Hey guys, welcome back. Good to see you again and welcome to Dia Numero Dos, the drugstore week. For today's drugstore makeup look, I decided to create something really soft and bronzy, sort of like a bronze goddess look. And what's really nice about this is that you can really pair it with any lip. I decided to go with a bold coral orange lip, which is something I very rarely do, but because I am creating a different look every day this week, I thought why not switch it up and keep it interesting. And a lot of the products that I use today, I'm actually really satisfied with. Everything is translating very high end. So I'm super impressed. Before jumping into today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the rest of Drugstore Week. And also, make sure to click that little bell icon to receive notifications whenever I do upload. I'll take a moment and wait while you guys go ahead and do that. And let's jump straight into this video. <laughs> For today's look, I really wanted to focus on creating an all-over glow and bronzed effect. So I'm starting off with this NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer. I'm applying it all over, but if you're more towards the oily side, I would recommend just applying it to the high points of the face and skipping the T-zone. For foundation, I'm using my absolute favorite. This is the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation in shade 30, which matches me perfectly. It's a sheer to medium coverage. It's really seamless, very comparable to a lot of my high-end foundations. I absolutely love this one. And again, if you're more towards the oily side, I would probably go for more of a matte foundation and create the glow later with a powder illuminator. So I would recommend something like a Maybelline Matte and Poreless or L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation. To conceal and highlight down the center of the face, I'm mixing two different concealers, the NYX HD concealer and the Maybelline Fit Me concealer. One is more pink, which is the NYX one, and then the Maybelline one is more towards the yellow side. Both of them together are going to correct and also brighten at the same time, and the color combo when mixed together was perfect for highlighting down the center of my face. Because I did buy so many different setting powders at the drugstore the other day, I thought I would try a different one in today's video, even though I did really love the translucent setting powder by number seven. Today I'm trying out the loose setting powder by CoverGirl. I just picked up the excess creasing and then I'm using a small eyeshadow blending brush to pack it into the areas that crease up. And while I did really love this powder, nothing creased, it set everything really well. I read the ingredients later and it does contain a mineral oil, which I'm not gonna get into too much detail now, but that's an ingredient that I tend to avoid in all of my skincare and beauty products, which it's pretty hard to avoid when it comes to drugstore makeup and skincare. And because of that, I don't know if I'll ever use it again, even though it was really nice, I have to say. Moving on to bronzer next, I'm using another recent purchase from my drugstore shopping spree the other day. This is the number seven bronzer in the shade Golden Sand, and the color was perfect. It wasn't too warm that it made me look orange, but it was warm enough that I was able to warm up the skin without looking brassy or overdone, and it is more towards the matte side. I think it is completely matte, and I can't really tell. But because of that, you can also do a little bit of contouring with this bronzer as well. And because that bronzer was more towards the matte side, I'm gonna be using this Milani Face and Eye Stro Palette in the shade Sunlight to add that bronzy glow to the high points of the face. So I just mixed together the two strips that were more of that light golden and bronze color, and I'm popping that onto the high points, and then I'm gonna go in and just use the pink strip as my blush. So I really like how versatile this palette was. I was able to add a glow and do my blush, and later I'm also gonna be using it on the eyes. And before going in with my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using my Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal to just fill in my brows a little more so they don't look as scraggly, you know? I thought I would try something different for today's video and do one eye off camera. Normally I bounce back and forth between the two, but I thought maybe this might save some time and make these videos shorter since I am doing so many this week. So let's do this one eye on camera. I'm starting off by applying this Maybelline Color Tattoo Eye Chrome in the shade Bronze Sheen. I'm applying it closest to the lash line and then blending it up towards the crease. I'm also gonna be applying this to the lower lash line. And these are great, they stay put, they work awesome as an eyeshadow base because they really don't crease or move all day long. To further set that cream eyeshadow and intensify the color, I'm going to be using another one of these NYX 
full throttle eyeshadow quads. This one is called Takeover Control. And I'm just going to be using this eyeshadow on the bottom right corner. It's a really pretty warm bronzy shade, whereas the cream eyeshadow was more so on the cool tone side. And I'm just picking it up with my fingertip and really pressing it into that cream eyeshadow. And then I'm also going to apply it to the lower lash line. If you don't feel comfortable applying a shimmer eyeshadow to the lower lash line, you can always use your bronzer for this step as well. And once I've done that, I'm just going to go in with a blending brush and blend it all out. Also dusting away the fallout. <laughs> I totally forgot to hold up this product to show it to you guys, but I'm using the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil in the shade Glazed Toffee to give the eye a smokier effect. So I'm applying it closest to the lash line and then blending it out with a small smudge brush. And I'm going to do the same to the lower lash line and I'm also going to apply this eyeliner to the waterline. Also, just a little side note. I'm keeping most of the color towards the outer V when applying it to the lower lash line and waterline. I don't fill it in all the way towards the tear duct. I want to keep most of the color on the outer V. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm going back in with that Milani Sunlight Palette. I'm using the gold strip to just highlight the brow bone and the inner corners of the eyes. So now to complete the look or to complete the eyes, I'm popping on a pair of these Ardell Foam Ink Lashes in the style 812. I'm using some black duo glue because it blends in really nicely. I don't have to cover it up later like I normally do with a clear eyelash glue. Always wait a few seconds before popping them on so that way they don't slide around everywhere. And before adding mascara, I'm going to mist myself with this e.l.f. Beauty Shield Daily Defense Makeup Mist. I'm not sure if it prolongs the wear of my makeup, but I do like the way it made my skin look. And right before it's completely dried down, that's when I go in with my highlighter. I'm using Maybelline's Glow Down Eyeshadow. I have an entire video dedicated to this one eyeshadow because it's only $3 and it is super comparable to a lot of high-end highlighters, including the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Definitely check it out. If you see it at the drugstore, I would recommend grabbing more than just one. I'm going to be coating both my false lashes and my real lashes with my Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara, still my favorite drugstore mascara, and I just like applying mascara to strip lashes that aren't as fluffy because I feel like they look really natural. And I'm also applying this mascara to my lower lashes, again, using a spoolie to lift them so that the mascara doesn't transfer to my under eye area. And I'm also going to use a little bit of my setting powder to run it along the tips of the lashes to further set that mascara and prevent it from transferring. We of course can't forget to set the brows in place. I'm using this Maybelline Brow Drama Clear Brow Gel. And for the epic coral lipstick, I'm using a Wet n Wild lipstick, shade 24 karat gold, number 969. That completes today's all drugstore makeup look. Keep in mind that you can rock whatever lip it is that you want with this look because it is so neutral and bronzy. I decided to step outside my comfort zone and go with this bright coral lip, but you can also do something dark and vampy, something nude. You can even just wear a gloss. You can definitely customize this look to your personal preference. I hope you guys are enjoying Drugstore Week. Make sure to tell your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, everyone you know about Drugstore Week. If they're on a budget and trying to save on money but still want to look glam, and again, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the rest of this week's tutorials. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.